What's going on everyone? Um, here to talk about uh, kind of the unicorn if you got an F-150, especially one that isn't a Raptor, because um, I've got a 2013 F-150 here, but it's got the, uh, uh, I guess you'd call in the 150, the Raptor motor, 6.2 liter uh, V8. There we are. Um, so this is really common in the Super Duties, uh, basically all the gas ones from uh, 2011 through, um, uh, what was it up, up to currently, but now they kind of got a lot of them have the seven, three liter gas, but, um, this six, two, uh, has been pretty reliable from, for me, uh, pretty much everyone, uh, that has one of these motors love them and you don't hear a whole lot of problems about them. Uh, mostly it's guys talk about what kind of rims they have or tires or color of their truck, which mine is black, which is the best. It's mostly a stock truck. I've got, uh, shocks, uh, Bilstein shocks in the front and rear, just have it lifted just a little bit. And I have an add a leaf in the rear, uh, just cause I didn't like all the squat. That's one of the things this truck does. If you put a lot of weight behind it, um, was it would squat and I think it's rated mine's rated for a little over 11,000 pounds some of the you know new ones are much more than that but you get much above you get to that point you need to get into a three-quarter ton or better um, but either way um, this is kind of to cover the problem I'm having with this truck um, or the problem I did have with this truck which was uh, kind of one of the super not common things but it is kind of one of the only things that big things that goes wrong with this truck it's a super cheap fix um you know if you have to have it done um basically most common on this truck is this valve spring it's not again it's not common i'm saying it's common um but uh you have your valve cover right here um right right there basically um i broke a valve spring underneath there it was on my number eight cylinder of course all the way in the back you know which was unfortunate but um, what ended up happening with the truck is it was running really rough. It almost, all of a sudden I'm driving it and I almost got like a snap, uh, like something just flipped, flipped a switch. And basically what happened is I broke a spring. So my number eight cylinder was not firing and uh, the truck didn't like it. So uh, what I ended up doing is thinking, well, you know what, I'm 120,000 miles. I've never done the plugs. I was already stretching it. So I changed the spark plugs, even though I was pretty sure that wasn't the problem. So yeah, it wasn't the problem, but you know, 16 plugs later, um, got them all out. It needed to happen. They were in pretty rough shape and they did not come out very easily. Um, but I, uh, you know, here's a picture of what the old plugs looked like. They all looked about the same. They were pretty scored and, you know, not too bad, but certainly not that good either. Um, getting them out was kind of a bear. Definitely recommend using some kind of, uh, although you need a, quite a few extensions and these swivel magnetic ones are definitely pretty helpful. So something to look into and, you know, made the new plugs going in a lot easier too and definitely put a little anti-seize on them next time if you got to get them out again. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't, wasn't too bad. It took, took a few hours. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get back into it. After the plugs, I kind of moved on to where I thought the next issue might be. That didn't fix it. Um, I had a um, uh, check engine light saying the number eight cylinder wasn't firing. So I was pretty sure it was what it was, but I also thought maybe it was a coil pack. It's much easier to do than a valve spring. So I uh, got a new coil pack on the number eight cylinder. Still had the same issue. So the truck's running really rough. Uh, here's, I'll give you a, a little tidbit of what it sounds like. So um, this is what the truck sounded like when it had this bad valve spring. All right, well, here's a picture of uh, a broken valve spring I had on the number eight cylinder. Uh, once you take the valve cover off, it's very, very easy to see. You'll see it's kind of bunged up like this. And um, so it's just, you know, you have to take it off and you'll need a new gasket after you take your, you know, uh, valve cover off, of course, to, to you know, to make a good seal when you put it all back together. But this is your, uh, this was the problem. All right, so that's kind of what it sound like, um, you know, it, 
did not want to get up a whole lot of throttle was running really rough uh, just felt, felt like it was missing on a cylinder which is what it was so what happened is that valve spring bro broke so the valve was sitting open couldn't get um, you know and that cylinder wouldn't wouldn't fire properly so uh, I was just basically throwing all that gasoline into my catalytic converter and you know you can't go very long on that it's just gonna burn everything else up so that was kind of the problem um, parts pretty cheap to fix you know this the you actually want to do the what is it called like the valve gasket uh, valve seal you want to do along with the valve spring when you do it so when you do one you do the other the spring is like 10 bucks the, the gasket or whatever it's called is like it was like three or four bucks so pretty cheap fix but you know doing it yourself it's not too bad but it's certainly not really fun either you do have to get the engine top dead center on that cylinder and you'll have to put a um you'll have to pressurize the cylinder um you know most people use air to uh keep the valve closed when you change that spring out so um you know and if you take it to a shop you know if you go to a ford dealer they'll charge you a ton but just go to a regular shop and you should be able to do it pretty easily for you know five six hundred bucks um you know which is a lot but to get the truck back and you know get it done and over with you can you can go that road too but either way so um you know that's one of the only things that isn't common but it happens with these trucks so figured it was a good thing to share um hopefully it helps anyone out if they're having that issue or to kind of rule that out um kind of hearing what the truck sounds like and uh you know so cool all right take it easy y'all